Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be out at the Chicago Strictly Sales Show. You guys, this is a fantastic event. Beautiful boats, wonderful people, fantastic exhibitors, and lots of new information that you need to learn about if you're a boater here in the Great Lakes region. So I'm standing here with Ronald. He's with a company. We're going to call it Copper Flake. You guys, this is very interesting for your boats, and I want Ronald to tell you guys a little bit more about Hyper Seals, Copper Flake product, and what it is it can do for your boat. Well, I'm actually a retired uh, colonel, mostly in aerospace, and I, I'm an inventor. I have about two dozen patents. Did, did development work on our B-2 stealth bomber and on our space shuttle, the Titan IV. I've been interested because I've had a few boats in, in making something that was non-toxic yet effective. The best means of doing this was going back to the 18th century, what we call the double hull, or the copper bottom that we used not only on our Constitution, but on thousands of boats until about 1880. And then the boats were being made of steel, and you can't put copper and steel together. So that was the end of the double hull, and we went to dozens of different what we call anti-fouling coatings, tinuvin, cupis oxide. Then I looked, it was possible now that we were into fiberglass boats to actually go back to the 18th, 19th century technology where they had virtually a century without fouling. And this, this was done by taking what we call elemental copper and flaking it. Elemental copper is basically totally non-toxic. It's the copper we use in pots and pans and in wire, unlike cupis oxide. It's far more effective in deterring fouling than cupis oxide. So then the next thing was to make it user-friendly by putting it into a lacquer. And this was best accomplished by a powder coating that would dissolve within, literally within seconds in a mixture of toluol, MEK, almost any solvent, on close to one-to-one -one basis. And then it can be sprayed, brushed, or rolled, and you have a surface pretty much like this, looking like, a, like Abraham Lincoln. So it flakes to the surface, and the next thing I did was take 16 months of testing in Aruba, Salt and Sea, Sweden, and the results are pretty much like this. With one side, and this is about 15 months, and the copper is basically unaffected. The other side is covered with barnacles. We did, we did a few. We did a ship. We did about 200 panels. And this gives you an idea of the, uh, of the appearance after one year in salt and sea. It's one of our dirtiest. Not as good lakes. as I can. So consequently, it's loser friendly. Only recently, a few weeks ago, we've been able to put it in an aerosol can. There, the market is huge. It's for the propeller. And cur currently, we have problems painting propellers because most of our coatings are ablated. And the high turbulent speed of a propeller will throw the coating off. Since this is not ablative and it's pure copper, it's very effective, however, it requires a primer, nope, 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 a little nope, like nope, nope. this, in order to prevent electrolysis. That's the reason we stopped making the copper bottom around 1880, the ships were made of steel. So one aerosol can will say primer, dries in about 10 minutes, the next is the copper, and then you're set for, a certain, for, for a vir virtually an unlimited period of time. Then if you're impressed and say, can I put this on, on my hull, and of course you can. But this is a very inexpensive investment to do the props which are not painted. So all in all, it's, it's really a major breakthrough. The appearance is quite beautiful. So, and that was painted this morning with an aerosol paint. Right, right over the primer. You need the two. But they're both aerosol. Anyway, uh, I guess... What should I do next? That's some fantastic information, Ronald. I greatly appreciate it. If we can't make it down here to the Strictly Sales show, where can we find more information about this product online? Well, basically, it's, it's Hyperseal uh, Incorporated. It's a company in Ranch. It's in Palm Desert, California. That's our office. And uh, I guess what should I do? Is Their website is Hyperseal.com? Yeah. Okay. Hyperseal inc.com is the num is the website that you can find out more information about this product or come on down to the strictly sales show see ronald he'll be more than happy to hook you up with some information about it the name of the product is copper flake anti-fouling paint correct and, fouling. and it'll work great on your boat Both so thanks so much top coat. on regular on regular hulls you do not need the primer perfect Only on steel
Okay. Thanks, Thanks again, Ronald. I greatly appreciate it. All right. You guys will see you out on the water.